attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, when you need Nelson. You need Nelson. Early Saturday morning, we were dispatched for a report of a structure fire. The initial report was possibly a shed on fire, but as we exited the stations and I left my residence, we could see significant flame lights presenting in the area. As crews arrived, they found what was a well-advanced fire that involved what had formerly been used as horse staples. We had known those to be heavy timber. There was significant fire conditions showing. As crews entered the property, it was a complex of buildings, which was formerly known as Binion's Ranch. As crews made their way in, they found the fact that there was a secondary structure well involved in fire as well, which in those two buildings were separated by approximately 100 plus feet of dirt roadway. Commenced a defensive exterior attack. One of the other initial reports is that there may have been people possibly trapped or unable to egress the property due to the advanced fire conditions. When you did our scene size up risk assessment, we found that that was unfounded, that they had a way to get off of the property safely, and they were sheltered in place. So we were able to focus strictly on getting large amounts of water. We laid uh, large supply lines from nearby hydrants onto the property, used large hand lines big fire, big hoses, big water, mm -hmm. and um, our job was to contain the fire to the buildings that we had found on fire. So we did that successfully. There were no injuries. One firefighter was uh, treated on scene for heat exhaustion. But what ended up happening is that the construction methodology used when these buildings were built, uh, with someone going back to the 1800s, made the suppression effort really challenging because we had to worry about the structural collapse, we had to worry about the heavy timber, we had to worry about the meeting of multiple buildings over periods of time and the advanced fire conditions that we were faced with. The combustible material was a, uh, was a mound. There was the structures, the floors, the material that had accumulated, and the same thing with the other, the second building too, had a large water storage tank, which was not filled with water, but it did have a wood, you know, almost like a covering over it that added significant challenges to our suppression. There was immediate concerns of structural collapse on these older buildings. It is suspect in nature. In fact, we were you know, clearly leaning toward the area of uh, arson and the state fire marshal is investigating with the Prom Valley Fire Rescue Team and the Nye County Sheriff's Office. And there was no uh, video footage of the property? Not that we're aware of as part of the ongoing investigation. And there's no further information at this point. And then as far as um, the total amount of structures that burnt, was it two? Uh, two large structures, correct. And there was uh, several additional large structures that were in immediate jeopardy, but they were protected.